understanding atheism, agnosticism, apathyism, and antitheism. Navigating the labels. In today's world, there are many terms used to describe one's stance on religion and the existence of gods. Atheism, agnosticism, apathyism, and antitheism are often used interchangeably, but they each carry distinct meanings, and sometimes they can feel more confusing than helpful. I found that the journey to understanding these labels, and where you fit within them, can be both personal and enlightening. The Search for Clarity Bertrand Russell and the Fluidity of Labels Let's start with someone who exemplified the nuances of these labels. Bertrand Russell Russell, a well-known philosopher, often referred to himself as both an agnostic and an atheist, depending on the context. In his writings, he explained his agnosticism regarding the existence of a god, while practically, he identified as an atheist, rejecting the idea of any gods. For Russell, the distinction between atheism and agnosticism was largely about certainty, whether or not one could claim definitive knowledge about the existence of deities. What's fascinating is that even someone as intellectually rigorous as Russell was fluid in his use of these terms. It's a reminder that these labels are often more about how we engage with belief and knowledge rather than rigid, concrete definitions. My journey. From agnosticism and apathyism to atheism. When I first began reflecting on my own beliefs, I gravitated toward agnosticism. Felt comfortable. The uncertainty about whether gods exist seemed like a reasonable stance, one that didn't commit to either side but instead embraced a we-just-don't-know position. But as time passed, I found that I was more than uncertain. I was simply rejecting the idea of deities altogether. Yet I was still hesitant to embrace the term atheism. I also identified as an apatheist. The idea that I could simply not care about the existence of gods seemed appealing, especially as a way to avoid confrontation. Apathyism allowed me to dismiss religious discussions as irrelevant, freeing me from the emotional and intellectual baggage of debating the divine. But as I grew more comfortable with my beliefs, I realized that I no longer needed to hide behind this apathy. I wasn't simply indifferent. I actively did not believe. Now, I proudly identify as an atheist, embracing the label without fear of confrontation. For me, atheism isn't just a lack of belief in gods, it's a clear and confident stance. And I'm not afraid to express it. In a society where religion still holds significant influence, it can be a challenge to speak openly about being an atheist. But for me, the discomfort has faded. It's liberating to stand firm in my belief, or lack thereof, and to contribute to the ongoing conversation about religion, science, and society. Clarifying the terms. What they really mean. Let's break down what these terms really mean. Atheism, a lack of belief in gods. It's the absence of theism, the rejection of deities or divine beings. Atheism doesn't necessarily involve strong activism or opposition to religion. It simply means you do not believe. Agnosticism, a position of uncertainty. Agnostics claim that the existence of gods is either unknowable or that we simply don't have enough evidence to say for sure. Agnosticism can be seen as the intellectual stance of not committing to either belief or disbelief. Apathyism. Apathy toward the question of God's existence. Apathyists don't particularly care whether gods exist because it doesn't impact their lives or values. It's a position that often arises from a desire to avoid the complexities and conflicts of religious debates. Antitheism. Active opposition to theism. Antitheists are not just non-believers, they believe that religion and the belief in gods can be harmful. This stance is about challenging religious influence in society, advocating for secularism, and often calling out the negative effects of religious ideologies. Conclusion. Embracing your belief, or lack thereof. Ultimately, the labels we use to describe our beliefs are tools for understanding ourselves and how we engage with the world. For some, the journey from agnosticism or apathyism to atheism is an empowering one. It's about moving from uncertainty or indifference to a place of confidence and clarity. For me, identifying as an atheist means standing firm in my rejection of religious beliefs without hesitation. It's not a stance against individuals who hold religious beliefs but a recognition that for me, there is no reason to believe in any gods. And that for now is enough.
I'm no longer afraid of the confrontation or the questions that may come my way. The journey of self-discovery has led me here, and I'm proud to claim my position. So, whether you identify as an atheist, agnostic, apatheist, or antitheist, it's important to remember that these terms are simply that. Terms. They can help you understand your place in the world, but they don't define you. What matters is how you choose to live your life and engage with the questions that matter to you.